auto focusing. Hi everyone, my name is Susan Jones, and in case you are new here, every single Sunday, I go ahead and upload a new game or activity, and it's usually just a short video where I share something you can take and use in your classroom right away. And I call it my Susan's Sunday Spotlight. This week I have a math warm up for you that is called How Many Equations, and it's a very simple way to have students practice addition and subtraction right at the beginning of your math block. So let's see how to play. Last year, I think for video number 12 or something, I shared four of my favorite math warm-ups that I've used in the classroom before. So I'll go ahead and link that above in case you want to see those. But this is another super simple one that you can go ahead and implement right away. All you will need for it are some dice. If you followed my blog for a while, you might know I'm a big proponent of the workshop model. So math workshop is always how I would run my math block in my classroom. And essentially at the beginning of the math workshop, we would always have a little warm up and it was only three to five minutes, but it was a fun time to kind of activate our brains and get it ready for what we're going to be learning. But I would also always use it as a time to spiral back what we've learned in the past. I also like to go ahead and make these warm ups more geared towards higher order thinking and different ways of applying a skill instead of just rote addition, counting or subtraction or something like that. So for the activity, how many equations, all you're going to need are some dice, like I said before. Here I have three, I've done this in the past with four, and what you'll want to do is, I like to use the big ones, I actually had foam dice earlier, but my toddler, like two years ago when he was two and teething, like chewed at them all, so. So I'm using these, what are these, dry erase ones, and I just made them regular dice, so they're all one through six, without the numbers, I have the dots instead. All you'll do is while your class is gathered on the rug or at their seats and you're about to start your math block, for your warm up you will simply roll these three die. So we got six, four, and five. So then you will go ahead and give students some time to brainstorm and kind of shout out how many equations they can go ahead and make with these numbers. Now I don't make sure that they need to use all three numbers in one equation. Instead they just need to mix and match these numbers so they might say, oh, 6 plus 4 equals 10. Boom, we'll write it down. Another student might say, oh, here's another way to pose that equation, 4 plus 6 equals 10. And you can kind of flip-flop them and show them that. Students might say 5 minus 4 equals 1, 6 minus 4 equals 2, so on and so forth. And really what they're trying to do is create as many equations as they can. When I introduce this game to my first graders at the beginning, I will find that depending on the skill that we're working on, which is usually beginning addition, you'll find that many of the equations they choose to make are addition. And as we continue to learn more about subtraction as the year goes on, they will start adding some subtraction problems as well. You can do this one of two ways. You can either kind of put a timer on the clock and see how many equations your class can come up with, or I like the more open-ended approach where you will go ahead and record as many equations as your students are saying, and when they think they're done, you can kind of walk through that with them. You can say, okay, let's see, we used our six. Did we do six plus four? Yes, now we can flip-flop it, four plus six. What about six plus five? And we kind of walk through each one. This type of activity has students thinking about those different numbers and how they can relate to one another. And as I mentioned before, I've done this with three dice and four dice, and you can even add some more if you want. I like to do this as a warm up because I like being there and being present for students when they are deciding how these numbers work together. But you could definitely also throw some dice over in a center and have it be an independent activity where they roll the three dice either with a partner or independently they try to come up with as many equations as they can you could have them record them down on a sheet and when they think they're done they can roll it again and see what equations they come up with the next time and that is the warm-up activity how many equations if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so i know and make sure you are subscribed and click that bell that way you're notified every week of my new game idea or activity. See you next week. Bye.